So first, a little revision on what we learned in the last session. Today we're talking about fibres. Here we see a micrograph of a mixture of fibres. There are some hardwood fibres and there are some softwood fibres. You can tell which is which by a close inspection. Look at the fibre on the right. See the little window-like markings, just like the uh, windows of an aeroplane. These are known as pit cells or window cells and are characteristic only of softwood fibres. Note how the fibre is wide, long and if you look at the narrow lines down each side of the fibre along with the fibre in the middle that shows you that the tube has collapsed. So this fibre has been mechanically treated in some way but not to a great extent as we can't see any degree of uh, fibrillation. The fibre is going across the screen are much narrower. Those will be hardwood fibres. Now we said fibres could be divided into two major groups. There are natural fibres and there are man-made fibres. The group of man-made fibres can be subdivided into three groups, organic, metallic and ceramic. Ceramic fibres could be carbon fibre or uh, glass fibre is used in uh, loft insulation. Metal fibres are wires and organic fibres, the type of material that clothing is made out of. So um, terylene, nylon, rayon, that type of material. Natural fibres can also be subdivided into three groups. Animal, mineral and vegetable. Animal fibres could be uh, silk, for example, as used in uh, currency. Mineral fibres could be asbestos, for making such things as asbestos paper, material I used to use regularly when I was a young lab assistant. And vegetable fibres. Vegetable fibres account for more than 95% of all fibres that go into paper making. And it's this category that we looked at last time and expanded upon. Here we see that vegetable fibres could be subdivided again into three groups. RCF or reclaimed fibre, recycled fibre. Wood fibres from trees and non-wood fibres. Non-wood fibres come from things like um, leaf fibres, stem fibres, uh, bast fibres. At the moment we're concentrating on wood fibres and wood itself could be divided into either hardwood fibres or softwood fibres. In terms of evolution, softwood fibres are by far the oldest type of tree. These are the evergreens, mainly uh, pine fir and spruce. Softwood fibres tend to be long, wide and ideally, ideally suited for uh, giving strength to a sheet of paper. Hardwood fibres come from trees where the leaves fall off when it gets cold. These didn't come onto the earth until millions of years after softwood were established. Hardwood fibres tend to be shorter, narrower and stiffer. Not very good for the strength of a piece of paper but ideally suited to improve the formation. <laughs>